Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thank you for, I, for the interview. I mean, I know how busy you are and you're in the middle of filming season two, which is very exciting for us fans. So I really appreciate you taking the time out to, to talk about it. Before we get on to Andor, I hope you don't mind, I wanted to talk a little bit first about you as a director and music and choices that, you know, that beautiful luxury that you have as a creative, as a director of working with a composer and things on on music in your films. Um, because one of my favourite films uh, ever, um, Into the Wild, Michael Brook did the score for, who, of course, composed one of your films. So yes. I hope you don't mind if we start there and then we we, we go into Andor in a second, just because um, it's a really exciting part of your, you know, a part of your story is is this side of it as a director and and where that journey's going once you finish this mad crazy world of Star Wars and and that kind of thing. So with being a director and thinking about music, how is that conversation and that relationship for you and how important is music for you in telling your stories? It's really important. There, there is two two questions I I I'm, I make myself, uh, you know, when when directing is the, and they're essential for me to understand the film I want to make or and to to feel ready to go out there and trying to try to connect with others and and tell my story. What is uh, what's the music that matters to to these characters? What's the music these characters are listening to? You know, mm. uh, it is something. It, it is something that I I need to know. I need to know to understand who they are. You know, uh, and it's important. It's important. It's it's through music that I've made like many important connections in in my life. You know, it's uh, talking through music that I started to learn how to talk to 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 the girls I like when I was in school. <laughs> um, it's it's through music that I I was like really able to have a, 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 a an interesting relation with a with with my friend and cousin. That it, it, in fact it happened to 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 become the composer of of many projects I did before. Uh, you know, because he he actually became a musician. Um, Amazing. Anyway, so for me, for me, yeah, music music is really important in terms of of, of setting also a, a time, a moment, you know, and uh, and understanding uh, the moment. Like what music they were listening to tells me uh, a lot of of uh, the ground the characters uh, touch, you know, or. Yeah. Uh, and and then and then music i want you to be listening when you hear the story i'm about to tell you which is very different sometimes you know uh and sometimes uh it's not sometimes it, it's the same but uh but it's a different question and i think it, it it deserves a different answer if you end in the same place then there's a reason uh for that but uh but it's a it's a different reflection uh and uh and I think it's uh, that that is something that happens from the moment you start writing, you know, to the moment you start directing and shooting. I tend to be listening to the music. I think yeah. the score will will have while I'm shooting and while I, I'm, I'm just having, you know, like my coffee in the mornings or the drive to set or that that music is is there, you know, yeah. because it sets you in a tone, you know, it it, it brings like it, it brings a vibration that can stay with you. Uh, and uh, and that for me is needed to 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 go back to uh, to have clarity, you know, so uh, even though not many times I get the opportunity to work with the composer from the beginning, I do I do have the clarity on on who I want to work with and why, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, and just a few times I've had to to change that. Uh, but even though the person that that wasn't at the end part of the show, it ended up being a great influence to to the film, you know. Yeah. What was it about Michael's work in particular? Was there a particular piece of his work that same, same, oh, same, same as that I mean, film? You, you took that film is it's, that film 
me is 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 uh, is the music you know i mean uh, that i can i can close my eyes put the put, put the music and and see the film yeah. you know uh, uh, it's and i saw it once or twice uh, and i thought it was great and i also really like the idea of him uh working with an actor director you know uh, to me yeah. that 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 was something you know i was like well this this man is used to to talk to to someone that is directing uh, with probably a few of the tools I have and uh, and the lacks I have also uh, I'm sure I, I I will have you know uh, yeah and that marriage I think as well of Michael's work but Eddie Vedder as well and kind of how those mm-hmm. two things sonically just kind of I don't know for me they're almost like the heartbeat of that entire film you know what I mean they're they're the character they're the location they're just there are so many things. I just think it's a it's a it's a beautiful, beautiful marriage. Weirdly, every time I see a kind of um um a bus like that as well, it's kind of it's like the the movie almost yeah. kind of flashes in front of me. It's kind of like yeah, 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 yeah. And, and yes, it's true. It's it's very it's very strong. Uh, but there is there there is uh, obviously I was I was thinking. Uh, and, and talking to my partner about this interview I was about to to do and and, and we were talking about the work of uh, of Michael Nyman and uh, the work of the Mertens and the, like it is it is quite interesting how a sound uh, represents a time of my life and 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 the way I related to film you know even yeah. though even though I mean, it's it's not that that was just that sound that that does remind me, uh, or that triggers uh, something I was really worried about at the time that made those films matter to me in a way nothing yeah. else mattered, and uh, and it's interesting because I I I mean I still remember when we had CDs and uh, and uh, you still have them because I that... would throw mine away, I still no, I would throw it. them away. I'm like I have to keep them. It's part. It's a. It's it's a history of my life. Yes, <laughs> but also what they what they had uh, uh, in common with film is that you, they ask you to be played in order. You know, you could you could mess with the order. Yes, of course, you could play one and then four and then three and then nine. <laughs> but you would have to like really want to do that. You know, yeah. uh, and, and uh, right now with all these platforms uh, i mean it's really hard to 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 be convinced to follow an order and and you have to yeah. almost ask the ask the platform to stay and stick to the the order you know of of the album and and uh, there is all this like yeah uh, uh, sound list or you know, yeah this this um, how do, i don't even know how to call them um it's, but it's, yeah it's, yeah, it's so disposable, isn't it? It's kind of like on to the next. It's kind of I've got I've got two kids and and uh, my youngest who's nine. I constantly go and stop fast forwarding things. Just watch stop it. Stop it, and... yeah. <laughs> watch it and 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 and, and the, the the playlist. You know, you go like, why? Why? Why would you mess with the order? Someone, I mean, someone's thoughts had you know like someone yeah. thinks of, about putting together an album for you to hear it that way well i remember i remember when when i i i used to hear the soundtrack of films it mattered to me to have the 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 the, the yeah the cds and play them in order because i could shut my eyes and see the film through the music you know yeah. and uh and uh, anyway, so I was thinking of, of of names that matter to me because it's not music that has been part of my films necessarily, yeah. you know, Vim Mertens, but it is it is something I've used so much to edit, you know. Uh, it's 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 music I I I I, I use to edit, and it it brings a, a pulse, a rhythm, uh, yeah. uh, and uh, and it helps you a lot. You know, even though you you don't end there in terms of the sound or the. So anyway, yeah. What about uh, with Michael Nyman? Is it is it a particular piece of Michael Nyman's? I mean, the I, the cook, the wife. Uh, yeah. You know, the it's uh, wow. 
it's great and and then and then piano, uh, piano. Uh, oh. and then and then him i yeah. i have to say because i became obsessed with him as he became obsessed with mexico you know <laughs> i saw him playing a few times uh, one in one in 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 colombia in uh, in a festival called the hay festival uh, mm -hmm. you know that is about literature and uh, and he was there playing uh, one night and i found it it's so like inspiring and, and 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 i had a conversation with him and he was talking about my city uh, as if he was talking about the most exciting place and on earth and i was like wow this is incredible wow. Because your your music almost represents that to me, you know, and then oh. kind of like became friends. We saw each other a lot, and I even we even talked about working together. It never yes. happened, but uh, but next he's, film, uh, the next uh -huh. film, Luna. Yeah, <laughs> the next probably. film for sure, he's, Diego. He's amazing. He's amazing. But uh, to be honest, I have great relation uh, with musicians and, and one, uh, I always end up working with is, is, is my cousin whose his name is Alejandro Castaños and it's a, a fantastic composer. He has done a lot of film and, uh, and, uh, but he's also like a hardcore contemporary composer that, you know, he writes these pieces for tons of musicians and, yeah. and that are so complicated and interesting. Uh, but at the same time, he loves doing doing music for film, and uh, I just did a, 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 a TV series uh, uh, for for in Netflix that he he made the the music for, and I had the best process. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Yeah. He does the music there. But he also does the music in in I I have another show called Bread and Circus that is about you know we we discuss politics uh, around a meal I cook uh, for interesting people that think differently and we kind of set a table for them to 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 discuss and, and and to talk and 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 he does music for that which is like it's nothing to do with with the film or the documentaries we've made uh, and he enjoys it he enjoys like he did the music for the theater play i just did uh, it's a very strong connection and uh and I, I i find myself very very happy always working with him we can he he allows the the like the dialogue is is so open and so yeah. honest <laughs> and it and it's so easy to tell him because it's difficult to talk music you know to me, it's very difficult. I I didn't have a, a, a musical education at all. Uh, my father was an architect and a set designer, and it's very much about the yeah, drawings and elements that you can touch and feel and you place in. Uh, and uh, and music is different. To talk about music, it's so complex, and uh, 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 and I love the way he he allows me to be just incorrect all the time you know and he ends up understanding what i want to say uh, yeah. but it's because i know that guy since i was 13 years old and uh, and we've we we went to see films together we we discover like i don't know pulp fiction together we wow. and we 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 grew up together. We used to go to, the, he would take me every weekend to see concerts uh, in, in the Philharmonica in, in, in Mexico. And, uh, and, uh, and he teach me how to listen basically to music and, and, and how to enjoy that. So yeah, he, I would say he's my partner and he will be for a long time. Oh, what beautiful relationship to have both, you know, personally but have that inspiration person who inspires you like that it's amazing um the 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 use of composers in in both um gareth's film you know back in 2016 with michael giacchino and using some of the original john williams music and then having nick Patel on the tv show as well talk about kind of creme de la creme when it comes to to con you know current contemporary composers i mean yes mm. amazing it's so amazing great. amazing and the way and and you know what it, it's because uh it's i think it's because of tony gilroy tony gilroy is the 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 producer or showrunner or the the writer the ma mastermind behind our show and uh and he and he loves collaboration 
he enjoys collaboration like nothing else like for example yeah. the, the uh, on the first season uh, the music for the funeral uh was composed like a year before we shot that you know and it was them working together and it's because i think to tony loves doing one thing which is inviting you to his writing process you know Ma making mm. you involved from the beginning and 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 i think uh, that that ends uh, that brings the best out of you, you know, when you are part of things from scratch, from the basic element, uh, and uh, and uh, and the music in, in Andor is 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 a very important part of, of 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 what we're doing. Like I remember shooting that episode, and and uh, and the director was playing the music for me. You know, wow. that doesn't happen often. Like, no, you know, it's you know helpful. this thing of like, a, a, how helpful well, is it? as helpful as it is for audiences to feel something when there's <laughs> yeah. music you know this thing of like the scene is great but wait till the, there's some good music behind <laughs> then it'll break it well same thing with your acting you know you're acting and you're trying to get to the emotion but then if nicolas's music comes in you're just it triggers emotionally so much more you know sometimes i had to ask for that to be turned off because i I said, I, I want to cry in every moment. I, I, I don't want to be like in tears for the whole episode. Can you please turn that off? Um, <laughs> he's done something. I mean, he's such a love. We've been lucky enough to have him on the podcast, I think three or four times, actually, way back mm -hmm. for, you know, when his work with Barry Jenkins on on Moonlight and if Beale Street could talk and succession yeah. and, and kind of all that. And he just... He's just able to kind of just get to the soul of things. I think that's kind of what is mm. seems so effortless with him. And he's just this lovely little man who's just so infectious with his enthusiasm for what he does. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Have you have you had much kind of collaboration with him? Have you spoken to him? Is he on set or, or, or what's kind no, of? No, no, no not really i mean i met him i uh, i've had a, a few opportunities to talk to him and and mm. remind him how much i admire uh, his his work and 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 uh, and how much it means for me to be doing this with him but I, I would say that most of his work was done with tony was done before we went to shoot and yeah. after we shot uh but we have this thing in i mean we say it all the time and you know every time we, we we finish a shot we go like i mean even though that nicolas's music is gonna make this amazing we we have we can do better right yeah 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 let's do better <laughs> uh, or when we have an amazing moment you know one of those epic shots that suddenly you go like shit did we just do that yeah. Uh, they obviously someone always says like imagine when the music's on like i mean this is just gonna become part of uh, <laughs> film history you know and it's all because of of, of the master of masters uh no uh yeah we are very lucky to to have him not just in the show but so excited with the show yeah um because yes that 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 makes andor quite unique you know but i think it's like i, I when i talk about andor and that's why i blame i blame tony gilroy <laughs> that happens almost in every level you know of the yeah. show like we, when we talk about the set designer uh the production designer uh uh, Luke Hall is, is this genius, genius young man that uh, that comes up with these amazing ideas, and his execution is so like meticulously perfect. You know, he's just like he covers every angle, every every perspective, everything is there, uh, and he delivers he delivers so easily. Uh, it's incredible, and 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 the costume designer Michael Wilkinson and Emma, the 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 makeup designer, she has to do a crazy amount of characters, and every character is unique and special and different, and it happens with in every level of this show. So mm -hmm. uh, 
I, I, that's why I go like, oh, that just happens when, when the lead and when the writing and when the material uh, has integrity and 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 it just yeah. brings people that understands what a good opportunity is, you know, and, yeah. and knows that when to take those opportunities. The cast, I mean, wow, come on, it's an amazing cast. But obviously, you're gonna have an amazing cast if you have scenes that ask for, for for what the scenes Tony Gilroy writes ask for. You know, yeah. which is it's it's the, it's. Do you know what? Yeah, it's you use yeah, the word for. unique, and I think that that's such a good way to describe it because, I mean, we just could not get enough of it you know and I it's just so excited for this second season as well and one of the things that I'm kind of really excited for is that you look at this cast and there are a number of the the kind of main characters that you've not even had scenes with yet and (laughs) and I'm kind of like and you're kind of like oh you're so excited for the prospect of there being that moment in this new season, you know, in terms of when when things collide or and I've I've no idea what's happening and I know you can't talk about it, but just the prospect of having to have that first season and being absolutely blown away by it and knowing with this next one, there is the potential of these characters being in a scene together. It's kind of like, oh my God, it's so exciting <laughs> as a fan. I think it it, it is the uniqueness or or this it's 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 something we we are not used to anymore you know to be surprised by what we see i think it, i think that has changed dramatically and uh, i i tend to sound like a like an an old man just like <laughs> complaining about the world changing but i am a little bit uh you know i i really i yeah. I, I really think of that as I was talking about CDs, I do I do remember when you used to go to the cinema without knowing anything about what you were going to yeah. see. It was just like, I'm seeing this because it, it was programmed in the cinema that is near where I live because it's playing at the time I can... I can go <laughs> and because the poster looks quite similar to the stuff I like. I'm going to yeah. s- find out who's in the film. I'm going to find out what the music sounds like. I'm um, going to find what the ending is and what happens and the tone. And uh, I, I might know it's a comedy, but no more than that, or if it's a drama. And and today you already have an opinion of what you're about to see, you know, uh, because of the social media, the amount of talk, yeah. trailers, you know, the music, you know, the clothes they'll be wearing, you know, everything, everyone playing on it, you know, what they went through, you know, their stories. It's like, and and it's quite amazing when in this jungle we live in, something comes and comes out of nowhere. You yeah. Know? And I think that's what happened with our show. It came out of nowhere because... Uh, because we are part of a universe called Star Wars, but we are meant to be different. Yeah. And no one, no one knows where to place our show. You know, you go like, yeah, I'm, well, I, I'm, I'm looking at a Star Wars show, but I wanna, I wanna celebrate it for being realistic. Uh, how can I do that? You know, <laughs> I'm talking about a story that happens in a galaxy far, far away, but I wanna celebrate <laughs> how realistic and 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 yeah. Uh, uh, how down to earth it feels, <laughs> even yeah. though we're not we're talking about another galaxy. I want to like the, I think the show uh, it's refreshing because of that because it, it came as part of a, a universe uh, that that uh, I think has many many chances to grow and to be many other things, you know. Yeah. And and this show came to say like yes. You can still be part of this universe. You can be still still be part of 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 of, of, of this uh, family and and be yourself. You know, you can be different. Uh, and uh, and I think it's it's also interesting that we we shot this uh, in the worst times of the pandemic. You know, yeah. uh, so uh, no no one saw it coming. 
You know, we were there by ourselves. We were one of the first shows that went back to work. And we were shooting in this bubble, inside a bubble, uh, while the world was, uh, like, struggling to to see what was going to happen. And we got away with doing this show without many even noticing uh, that it was happening, you know. And we yeah. were given complete freedom from Disney and, and, and Lucas and... Uh, and we got a great team, but at the and and also it meant so much to all of us because we were giving we we were just given the opportunity to do what we love the most in a moment no one was doing it you know yeah. in a moment where we were questioning if 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 there was room for us if there was a future for what we do and we were there and we we knew we knew we were. Like, we had this great gift and we had to deliver. It was so intense, the whole process, you <laughs> yeah. know, because of when it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, do you notice a difference though between that and, and filming this new season for, for yes. various reasons, because of the success of season one, because you're not, you're not able to kind of remove yourself from the world in the way that you did with that first season. Is it, is it hugely different experience for you? It is. It is a, a a much more enjoyable one, you know, uh, in terms of, of of the dynamic and and what what shooting the show asks for all of us, uh, we can handle it better. It was hardcore uh, to do it before. Many yeah. of us uh, we come from from abroad. We 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 don't live in the UK, and we suddenly had to stay in the UK. We, you know, to shoot this, uh, we were thinking of going back home much more than we were allowed to. Uh, yeah. We we were we couldn't celebrate. You know, we, yeah. we the, the if it, if there was a moment where you shot something that you were really proud of and you were really happy to achieve, there was no no chance to go to the pub and have a beer. There was, in fact, we were not allowed to hug. You know, we had to celebrate from afar going, yeah, great. And <laughs> go home and, and and close your door and stay there by yourself and not allow anyone in. Uh, it was, it was, I mean, it was a hard time for everyone. Mm. Uh, but uh, I'm not saying that, uh, that it was just for us, but what I'm, but this season we are doing stuff we were not allowed to do. Uh, we're enjoying it much more. We are feeling part of of a family that suddenly was allowed to go out, was allowed to to interact, to touch, um, yeah. and and uh, and one thing that is important is that we know we're not alone. There's people out there that really love the show. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, th- this is this is a show you cannot test. For example, you know. When we were shooting under you, you can't. Be, it's Star Wars. I mean, you don't do focus groups. You know, <laughs> no one's supposed or meant to to know anything about it. The secrecy is is yeah. is, is is brutal. So uh, we were just working, thinking of well, if we like it, someone out there might like it. Let's make sure we do something we would love to watch yes. as audience. You know, that's the only thing to the 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 only tool we had to measure what we were doing is how much do you care about it? How much are you enjoying the ride? How much do you uh, do you care about these characters and this story? Uh, but that's everything we knew. And to me, yeah. we know this story matters to others. And that is a, a beautiful, beautiful thing, you know. Uh, we know this story matter, and this story was celebrated for the same reasons that we decided to do it, you know. Because yeah. many times they celebrate the stuff you do, but for other reasons you know, <laughs> yeah. that have nothing to do with your connection <laughs> with the show. But this time, the stuff we were reminding ourselves every day is what yeah. people wrote about it, you know, how yeah. realistic it had to be, how mature, how uh, complicated, how much in the gray areas we should live, how much uh, we we wanted to to talk about real characters, you mm. know, that had that, real that experiences. were and 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 complicated characters, yeah. you know, not to judge them, not to be able to say, okay, this guy is good, this guy is bad, and therefore, you know, the, this one's gonna do this to to. 
to be yeah. to find conflict and to and to find contrast uh, in every character. And uh, and then the, the show was celebrated for that, and and that means a lot to us, you know. Yeah. And um, two quick things before we run out of time, but um, the other unique thing about it, I guess, as well, is that it's it's kind of the flip of how you normally tell stories in terms of you know we kind of with with Rogue One we knew the ending, and then this is kind of you know this is going back, and you're it and it's it's beautiful. You kind of even though we kind of know you know, the end point of this, there's just this amazing connection with this character. And I think that that's like what you were talking about. It's, it's down to just this beautiful jigsaw puzzle of all these people who want to do their best, but collaborate as well. Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, you know, when I think about this, uh, like how can I, how does this relate to other stuff I've done or, yeah. or, or I like to see, and it's it's historical stories, you know. Uh, when an event, you know, happened, but now a film is going to tell you what they were thinking, what they were yeah. eating before it happened, what made them make that choice, what is there in the intimate world of these characters you don't know that is going to make you see the event from a different perspective yeah. and understand it uh, in a way you didn't before. Mm. I mean, to to me, that's that's what what this show is yeah. about. Like, if you watch Rogue One, you know what this character is capable of, but you don't know how he gets there, and that's what we're gonna tell you. What gets how how uh, someone gets to sacrifice everything for a cause? What needs to happen in the life of that person? That's what this show is about. Yeah. But we know what he's capable of doing, uh, and hopefully, at the end of season two, you watch the film again and you go like shit. I, yeah, I, I am seeing it from a different perspective now. I get it. You know? I got a whole day planned out where I'm going to watch it in chronological order. I, I finish off with the film. I can't. I can't wait. Um, oh, this, that's yeah, so that, cool. I, I can't wait. I'll be doing the same thing. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> One day. Yeah. How do you? Last thing. How do you? With the whole secrecy thing, is it hard? Is it hard? Kind of, you know, sort of to self, kind of, you know. No, you you you're good with it. Yeah, I I love I love I love this. I love <laughs> the idea of making sure. In fact, it's not just about the secrecy. You know, I'm gonna say something I've never say said, uh, uh, and it's true. Uh, even though I'll I'll I'll, I'll say it's not. Uh, <laughs> but I, I really enjoy the idea also of being able to make sure I confuse you enough. That you, you when you watch it, you are surprised, you know. Because why? Why would you? I mean, why would you need to know? Uh, you know what you are supposed to be told once yeah. through images and, and 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 through dialogue and events and music. And we <laughs> we work so hard. We work so hard in 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 putting together a, a show that lasts. 12 episodes and uh, and we take so much time in making every decision and uh, every choice on the way to deliver what we deliver that why ruin the experience for you you know uh, yeah i think i love uh, as i told you i what i love about the way i i was introduced to film is that it was always a shock it was always yeah. a very unique and new experience for me uh, I w I had to wait for things to come out, and I therefore I had to wait to make a, a, to have an opinion, you know. Yeah. And and today today we are we we kind of celebrate that people have already an opinion of stuff that hasn't even happened, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it's it's about having an opinion, and 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 you go like, well, it's nice to remind you that you might have to wait to have yeah. an opinion uh, yeah. because we. We're just making it. <laughs> and there's so much we know, but also so much we don't know. Uh, yeah. that, I, keep, uh, that, I, uh, I like that freedom. I, I keep going on about it as well, about the waiting thing as well. Like my kids, it's so healthy for them to have to wait, you know, week to week for an episode. It's the best yeah. gift. Apart from the show, it's the best gift that you've given us, that idea that you have to wait. No, we've got to wait till next week for another episode. It's so healthy yeah. for them because they don't have to wait for anything. You know, it's kind of like literally there the next day and it comes through the post, whatever. But it's like, 
that's one of the, the many <laughs> other brilliant things I love. I was very worried about that. And today I am very like uh, happy and excited about this format, you know. At the yeah. beginning, I was like, uh, people are just are too impatient. No one's going to watch the show. They're going to they're gonna wait for the whole show to be out and then they'll watch it without really wanting. Like the, the momentum yeah. is going to be lost. I didn't think nope. society had that capability anymore <laughs> of being of, of patience, you know. Yeah. Uh, my, myself, using myself as an example, <laughs> I was like, "Who's gonna wait? I haven't had to wait for anything in, in ages." But it's it's true. It's so nice. It's yeah. so nice to know ourselves also that it's having an opinion, like having a like the first reaction is not an opinion. You know, yeah. Uh, the first reaction is just that; it's just the first reaction. But it's then, emotional. if we allow that to sink, you know, mm -hmm. and we digest, and we think, and we question, and we revisit, mm -hmm. and and then we can have an opinion, you know. And it's it's when 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 we discuss the substance and and not just what's on the surface, you know. And uh, yeah. and sometimes we we spend so much time deciding everything we spend so much time you know thinking what's the best choice what's the best way to do it to say it uh what we have to be aware of how to how yeah how, how to put together this story it takes years of our lives you know and then thinking that people will watch it in one night like and have an opinion the next morning talk about it uh, in the afternoon and then forget about it the next day it's painful so this i love this this thing of like well it's a three month thing you know yeah. it's three if you if you like it it's three months of your life yeah uh, it's not much to ask i mean <laughs> right no not at all um oh i could chat to you for hours diego it's so wonderful to get to talk to you both about the the fabulous andor but also you know about this this journey that you're you're on as a, a filmmaker as well and I look forward to to what's next in, in, in that world as well and your collaboration with Michael Nyman on that next film so yeah oh, that'd yeah. be awesome yes <laughs> um thank you so much for your time thank you um, thank happy you, thank filming you. and uh, and we look forward to season two take care thanks so much Diego thank you ciao bye <laughs>